one of the things that we learned in ULAR 2020 and then ACR again in 2020 is this is the first time that in our recent history that research is going so fast. It's like it's it's because we need the data. And so this research that was published in from January of 2022 that's being cited for how we're reacting to tests and the guidance for how long to stay inside, I just... I'm going to be honest. For me, it's sort of a question mark. So when my dad said, do you think I should go out? And knowing I'm positive and knowing that, you know, I have I still have a cough and I still have a sniffle and everything, I told him it's everybody's best judgment at this point. And I think that's the, the takeaway I'm trying to get to is there's always going to be evolving data the information that we're using for guidance now is based on research that was done six months ago. And I think we have to all take that as a grain of, with a grain of salt and be, use our best personal judgment on this. If you're not comfortable, don't go out. If you are, you know, and, and the same thing about this guidance, and I don't know if everybody here knows it or not, but the guidance says you don't even need to test yourself. When you're done with five days, just go. And I thought that was strange. And my niece, who is a nurse's assistant at a hospital, when she had COVID, my dad then asked her, well, what did you do? Did you go back to work? Did you test? And she said, no, I didn't test. And he said, well, what if you were positive? She said, I probably was. But that's not, but not, but the idea being, you don't have as much virus, so you're not you're not contagious. So I just personally wonder, how do we know really <laughs> that? Because we, we everybody's getting it now. Like I don't know, and, and maybe I I don't even know. Should I have even brought that up? Like um, I think it's interesting you actually did bring it up because it was end of May when I got COVID. So actually, really not that long ago. Well, I'm thinking of it two months ago. And uh, what I did right away was email my rheumatologist for advice because I didn't want to go through all the rabbit holes of trying to find what I needed to do on the internet. Uh, I always go to my head haunch with my rheumatologist and she suggested I actually stay home and don't go out for 10 days. Um, and I was luckily enough able to get a hold of the antivirals from her very, very fast, which reduced my uh, sickness duration for quite a bit. But I did um, rebound for about two days after uh, the vi antivirals. Um, and then I tested negative after like about 11 days. Um, however, I'm also on one of the biologics that they are using in hospitals to treat COVID. And I feel sort of blessed to be on that one biologic because there are other ones that could have made it worse outcomes for me, where this one actually made it a better outcome for me. Yeah, I stayed home for the five days. And on day six, I took another PCR and it was negative. And then I waited a couple more days after that and thought, well, I just want to make sure just for my own peace of mind. And it was negative again. Now, the funny thing is, is that after I, the very first time when I tested positive, uh, my husband developed this huge barking cough and he took a PCR test right after I did, it was negative. He waited a day, took another PCR test and it was negative. And then he went to, uh, urgent care and they too told him it was negative, but yet he had this cough that would not go away. And then several days after that, he took a test and it was one of those that it wasn't totally positive, but it wasn't totally negative, kind of that in between. So, and he just stayed home for five days. Yeah, I, and again, this is all just us talking as people, as humans, having opinions and perspectives. And it does, it, I, I just have to, I just have to wonder about as we keep growing these strains and moving farther away from what the original COVID was and the strains that it was, how effective these 
testings are because we we did um i went to a conference and we got back and uh, out of four of us all four got very sick two of us tested positive for covid and the other two took many tests and kept coming up negative but have admitted it's the worst quote unquote cold they've ever had and still coughing and it's just so i don't know it, it it's just there's a lot and i bringing it up again just to remind people the pandemic's not over Yes. I, that's really the point is, you know, if, if there's a lot of strange things happening still, and I don't think we're going to have the answers right now because they're, the research that's being cited in recommendations today has to take time to go through research and research takes time. And that's why the research and the data is based on Omicron and not the current strain. And then the research now when we have a different strength that <laughs> six months will be based on what we're experiencing right now. So I just, the takeaway is I think the conversation should always still be out there. Keep it real, keep it relevant, make your best judgments and remember that this is evolving. And what we, we do know is that the research that has, has been following our patients is definitely showing that our outcomes are not any worse than others who have different comorbidities. So that is a very clean, great takeaway uh, for this, because I do also know that there have been many patients who have hovered inside of their houses for the last couple of years, very fearful to leave. Mm -hmm.